Hi everyone, today we are going to create this amazing Apple UI editing style in CapCut. So if you want this same tutorial in After Effects, you can check out my link in description. So let's begin with the CapCut tutorial. First I'll bring in my default text, go here and type Windows plus dot key and then select the symbols and let's select this square. Increase the font size and scaling. Now let's head on to color and make it something off white. Okay, in the start, as you can see, there's this logo and this, you know, square. So I'll bring the logo over here. Okay, as you can see, we have got the logo. And for the square, this can be built within the CapCut app only. Just go again here, Windows plus dot key symbols and then select the square and make it big let's make it something of black put the logo above this okay i'll select this hit alt plus g to make it a compound clip head on to video mask add mask and rectangle then i can just you know make this smaller like this and then make it rounded corners first of all i'll just bring in more default text and then you know set windows plus dot key add on to symbols and select this okay make it black and then let's make it our eyes of this ghost body okay let's copy this and move it to the right so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this, you know, big, okay, and hit Alt plus G to make them a compound clip, okay. At the start, let's just, you know, cut from here, select this, hit Alt plus G to make them a compound clip, okay. So what I'll do is first make it small like this, zero, hit on transform keyframe, again hit on transform keyframe. And here, let's make it to 100. Okay. And now, what we are going to do is, at the start, I'm just going to give it a bit of rotation. 30. Okay. Okay. Now, to give this a better animation and overshoot type of animation, what we are going to do is, I'll head on here. I'll select this and let's make it rebound out okay now let's bring the keyframes closer so this will be our starting animation now for the next part as you can see that you know it is stretching so to do that first what I'll do is undo this compound clipping okay And then from here what I can do is first of all stretch this out so I'll head on to video okay hit on scale properties deselect it okay and then go ahead and stretch the width decrease the height okay hit R plus K cubic out and for this part what we are going to do is hit on video okay deselect the scale properties hit only on width go ahead go to the center over here see these two keyframes go to the center of the two keyframes and then again hit on width and stretch it somewhat like this hit alt plus k and for this we'll be selecting circular is okay hit alt plus k to close this now i'll bring another default text windows plus dot key symbols and then this time select this okay and then make it let's make it bigger 
deselect the scaling and I'm going to decrease the height and width okay now what I'm going to do is simply first I'm going to select this color picker tool and make it purple okay and then what I'm going to do is head on to scaling okay over here and hit on this width okay and go ahead to this second keyframe okay and again hit on this width okay now go to the first one and make it small okay somewhat this size yeah now hit all plus k and now we'll just simply select rebound out okay now to do this animation okay so we'll make this animation seamless to do that what we are going to do is make this first a compound clip okay and after this opens up till here i'm going to cut it and then bring this okay now inside this we are going to write this create a new wallet okay so first we'll bring on our default text and write create a new wallet and let's simply use fade in animation from here okay so now if you see this i know it is not perfect but we are you know getting close to something like that okay now after this the next scene is okay a cursor will come and then you know it will press here and then it will open up so to do that what we can do is simply i'll bring in a cursor png okay put it over here make it smaller okay so hit on transform keyframe go ahead put it over here alt and k then simply we'll use our cubic out okay so and from here what it happens is there is fade out animation so i'll just bring this here animation out and select our fade out animation okay and when this fades out from here this thing will open up so i'll just head on to you know scale width and height for this black you know square or rectangle whatever and then i'll just increase the height like this okay so we have got this now hit alt plus k and then cubic out okay let's increase the distance and then this whole thing will come down okay so when this starts i'll just hit on transform again go ahead and then bring this down over here hit or plus k again and this time we'll select cubic out okay move this out and this text i'm just going to fade it out so just head on to out animation and select fade out okay and as you can see there is add funds over here so just copy this text okay and when it reaches down i'll just write here add funds and then write this down over here as you can see now this one okay so to create this it's nothing difficult so first of all what we are going to do is head on to text bring a default text okay windows plus dot key and select this okay symbols square okay make it big something like this okay now we'll make it black in color okay copy this and what i'm going to do is make it deep black okay so one is dark black and one is grayish black okay and now what i'm going to do is 
simply select the dark black one okay make it a compound clip first video mask add mask split and then add some feathering okay like this yeah now select both of these or plus g to make it a compound clip video mask add mask rectangle then make it bigger and add rounded corners now i'll make it smaller okay as you can see you have got this shape okay what i'm going to do is head on to deselect the scale and increase the width of this okay, and decrease the height a bit now i'll bring my card png okay and put it over here like this okay so as you can see it is something like this and if you want to make another okay green one what you can do is you know just copy this one okay this compound clip and make this okay so what you can do is just copy this compound clip and then head inside okay this one and let's make this you know this dark green okay and then go back out select this and let's make this a bit lighter or a bit more darker yeah go out okay so as you can see we have got this now what I'm going to do is simply okay Alt plus G to make it a compound clip again. Video mask, add mask, split, keep it till here, and then make the scaling small. Okay, now again add some circles inside. So, to do that, I'll add a text layer. Okay, Windows plus dot key symbols, then another circle to go over here. Okay, make that a bit green and so this is how you have got your wallet. Okay, now to do the animation, what you have to do is when this opens up, simply just select this. Okay, and we'll do a scale up animation. Just go here, select scale animation, go to the start and make it zero hit alt plus k and then cubic out okay now do the same animation for this two okay now i'll select these and move it a bit forward and then there are also some stars so what you can do is simply head on to google okay google images and there you can search for star images okay yellow star images and then you can put it over here or the best way is if you want to do it by customization hit on windows plus dot key okay select this make it this yellow color okay hit or plus g to make it a compound clip mask add mask and select star okay and you can you know put it wherever you want here just copy it another put it here as we have made too many compound clippings okay so all of them will not you know compound clip again as too many compound clips are already made so what we have to do is at this point and then export this out okay stop here So, you know, any, okay, now what I'm going to do is simply head on inside and bring this, okay, select this, okay, import your, you know, animation and then add mask rectangle and then just you know mask this part okay now what I'm going to do bring it here 
and then again bring our background this gray uh, this skin color background and put it over here now as you can see the animation is same but this time what we can do is simply you know select our this animation from here okay and then keyframe it go ahead and scale it down hit alt plus k and then cubic out okay and then bring your this pngs put it here bring another put it here okay simple as that so it will start from here let's bring it keyframe both of them go ahead towards the end again keyframe now go to the start okay bring them out hit all plus k and then smoothen this animation out okay so now let's see our animation okay so we are done with this first part of the animation in the second part of the animation there is the rocket part okay so if you want to learn the rocket part of the animation help me get to 500 likes on this video and i will get to making the second part soon as possible so see you in the next video